I know, right? That looks so good. Like, that looks amazing, right? Am I wrong? No, I'm right. That's awesome. I love that. It's like my favorite thing in the world at the moment. Um, next up, I'm going to mount the fuel pressure regulator. My plan is to mount it somewhere in this area down here because I want both my feeds to come in to feed both rails. Then the rails come apart and then they go into the regulator and then one line shoots back into the tank. That's the plan. So I have a pretty trick unit from Holly. I'll show you that in a second. And then um, just a couple of pieces of, of, uh, of angle. We just got to cut them out to fit. And I just want to bolt it onto the top of the valley tray cover to kind of hold it down. And that's, that's my plan in my head. So let's get to it. So here's my fuel pressure regulator I picked up from Holly. Um, they have 8 a.m. fittings on the ends of it already. It does not come with those. Had to pick those up separate. Uh, Amazon parts, pretty inexpensive. Um, but here is your part number for the regulator itself. Um, and then this is the bracket that comes with a little bit of hardware. And then I just have this piece of aluminum angle. And I think that if I can make this somehow a mount to the valley cover, and then this mounts to that somehow, then that'll mount to that, and then it'll 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 all look good, especially after you're painted black. So that's the plan. Um, first, I'm gonna make a template to see how much of this I need to trim out and where I'm gonna drill my holes. This is just basically the back side of a sticker. Uh, comp cams, comps, comp cams, comp, comp cam, comp, comp cams, cam sticker. That's difficult for me to say for some reason. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this as my template in order to get the right size and to mark out my holes. This is not science. I just use a punch and then it kind of centers itself as long as you hold it down hard enough. Um, and then it'll just give you a, your exact center holes. I wonder, I wonder if I can just notch. I think it'll be strong enough. It should be strong enough. I'm actually gonna try that. I'm gonna try to notch this section out. Like I'm just making this up as I go. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and then just bolt it directly to that piece right there. Cause that should work. We should have enough clearance for that. Let's try it. So I can't find my tape measure, so I'm just gonna use, well, this is the template, right? In order to find halfway, I'm just gonna fold this in half. Bam, halfway.
Presto new. So I was wondering that. I probably should have checked that. But I think we can solve it. I think if we angle it a little more, I think it'll be fine. All right, plenty of clearance. Now that I know that this all works, we're gonna clean up some of these edges, make it a little bit prettier, instead of just looking like a piece of straight angle iron. There we go, quick, easy, and free, like I said before. Um, I don't think a lot of people realize like when you're building a car, all the little things that are gonna catch up with you and that's what's gonna kill your time. That's what's gonna take all your time. Like, yeah, you can slap an engine into a frame, but then you gotta, you gotta plumb it, you gotta wire it. It's all the little things to figure out in order to, to make it all work. So um, just try to get out there. Try to knock a little thing off your list here and there, and eventually it'll all catch up and then you'll have a pretty killer setup. So we're getting closer. Thanks for watching.